So obviously the first thing we're going to start off with is your hand and then you're going to take some black eyeshadow and then a variety of brushes. The main thing you're going to need is a blending brush and then something that you can be a little bit detailed with but it doesn't have to be too detailed at the moment. So first thing we're going to do is grid everything out so you want to run right between your fingers and run it right down your arm. Then we're going to go in completely the opposite direction and grid across your hand and your knuckles. I just want to separate my heart and mind I just want to divide into the sky tonight There is a light that's filled with light Inside we know there is a glow Next we're going to do some curved circles inside the grid. Now all of them don't have to follow just the grid. If you want to put two little circles inside each grid, or three, or even add smaller ones around the knuckle, go ahead and do that because it will make it look a lot more natural. Once everything's been gridded out, I'm going to fill in the edges, but there are a few of the circles which I'm going to break up because I don't like how uniform everything it looks. It looks a little bit too mathematical for the moment and it doesn't really want to look like that, so I'm going to break up a few of the circles and the squares randomly and then just curve the edges. I just want to Now with a blending brush I'm going to run it down all the grid lines that I've drawn just to make it look a little less perfect. The edges need to have a tiny little bit of shading around it, so I'm just going to run that right down the grid. And now for the latex, I'm going to be using the back of one of my brushes and I'm just going to be filling in all the little squares and circles that I've drawn. And I'm going to do this quite a few times to layer it up so that it looks like an actual scale and not just a little blob in the middle of my hand. So once the first coat is dried, I'm going to put a second coat and then a third coat on a few of them. Once the latex pieces have dried, I'm going to take a black cream eyeshadow and completely cover them. Just so they don't look so flat, I'm going to be taking a silver cream eyeshadow and just putting that on the top of all the little latex pieces. And then because this was a dragon hand originally when I did it, and the idea was that the dragon had been sleeping on jewels and gems and it had gotten stuck on its scales, I added a few rhinestones, or at least that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. And I finished off with my false nails. And that's it, you're done.